Hi, my name is Sal Gentile, and um, I'm a tinnitus sufferer. I was out with uh, friends uh, having a uh, very good time. I started hearing these noises in my ears at night, but there was still a lot of noise in the restaurant, um, so I didn't really think much of it. But when I got home and tried to go to sleep, um, these noises just started invading my ears, haunting me. The next morning when I woke up, I had four different noises flowing through my ears. I had no idea what was wrong with me. Um, I was scared. I was devastated. I felt as though there was something wrong with my brain. I actually didn't get out of bed until two o'clock in the afternoon. I just put the covers over my head. And I stayed like that for approximately four days. I made appointments with um, several different doctors. They weren't very ex explanatory about exactly what the condition was other than you have to live with it. I probably visited a dozen different um, hearing professionals. Then I came across an article when I was researching the internet about the American Tinnitus Association. And they have a referral program. And on that program, I found Dr. Chris Spankovich from UF Health. When I first met Sal, he was um, in distress. Uh, he had recently um, developed tinnitus and was having a lot of difficulty in dealing with uh, the new perception of this sound. I, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't eat, I had no appetite at all. Um, I was depressed. His brain was very much locked onto this signal. There were times when I would put my hands literally over my head and want to scream. It was just so agonizing and annoying. He needed some help and he needed some hope. There are ways to help with this tinnitus and there are ways to get the brain to recognize that indeed it is a meaningless signal. The approach that we, we use here at the University of Florida is a very holistic approach. In Sal's case or, or in any other patient's case, it's really those five things. Understanding the source, understanding the brain's capability to habituate to all different kinds of things, use of sound therapy recommendations and tips and help it to achieve that, distraction to help the brain to diminish its focus, and, and the last thing, probably one of the most important things, diet and exercise, leading a healthy lifestyle. All those things combined are gonna give you the power to really you know, knock out that tinnitus. I would say within two months, I was um, back living my life again. It was amazing. I took my first cruise um, with my wife in April of 2013 and I never heard my tinnitus. It was amazingly wonderful. Dr. Spankovich gave me my life back. I then went on in 2014 to um, be the uh, American Tinnitus Association um, state event leader for their famous Tour de Tinnitus bicycle ride. It's about making a difference in that patient's life. And so um, uh, here at um, UF Health, um, our focus is indeed in trying to give that patient um, the tools they need to effectively deal with any medical problem that they're having, um, with the auditory system or anything else, but with tinnitus in particular, in getting them to understand that the brain can indeed habituate to this and give them the tips, strategies, and tools in order to achieve that. And so we take a very holistic approach here and the focus is on the patient and, and, and their quality of life.